today we're going to show you how to adjust your K-bike shafts. So when you get your K-bike, it's possible that you're going to have to trim your shafts a little bit. We build them so they're a pretty long and then that allows you, if you have like a little longer pony or something, it allows you to be able to get your balance just right. Um, but if you have a short pony or a small pony, like a 32 inch pony, 34 inch, you're going to have to trim your shafts. It's not hard. You can use a pipe cutter. Um, it's just, it has a blade and it spins around and around and around until the pipe breaks. You can use a chop saw or you can have your husband use a chop saw or your boyfriend, or you could take it to a um, machine shop and they can chop off however much you need chopped off. So um, you're going to have to kind of decide that when you get your bike and you have your pony in the shafts, you'll have to kind of decide how far you want them to be from you in the seat. So there's a couple things. These shafts adjust in and out for width and to get more narrow and to get wider. They also adjust out to get longer. So they pull out like this or they slide in. This is all the way in. So they're all the way in. They're seated down inside this tube. So you have this length of the tube minus this that you could have your shafts come out. You want to make sure this is biting into shaft, that both of these are biting into shaft. So don't pull the shaft out so far that you're only going to be attached here by this bolt. You want both bolts attached. So you can, you'll have quite a few inches if you need them in length. even after you trim them. The other thing is how tall these are. So here's a bend here that brings the shafts up to your shaft loops on your saddle. And then this bend also dictates how tall your shafts are. So if you make your shafts wider, you can see they stand up quite tall. And then if you put them in narrow, this part lowers. So that's for your littler minis. That brings the front of your K-bike down as you lower that and um, narrow this up and turn it. It'll bring the front of the K-bike down. Then if you have a bigger pony like Zorro, you widen that out and that's going to lift this up and bring the front of your K-bike up so that you can always have a level seat. When, when balancing our K-bike, the seat should be level. Um, when we're in it and it's hitched to the pony, the seat should be level. It should not tip back like this at all. So if you don't have that, then you need to contact me so we can troubleshoot and figure out how to get it for you. Now we have Zorro and we're gonna try to get things adjusted for him. First thing, you wanna make sure your bike is in the middle of your pony. So if your pony's standing crooked, get him straight. Or if your bike's kind of cockeyed, straighten it so you don't set everything to a crooked cart. So. Then I want to show how narrowing up these shafts, you can get them narrow like this. When you have them touching, kind of touching the saddle like this, what happens I've noticed is the shaft loop tends to work its way back and get back behind the saddle and it gets stuck back there. Um, if this is happening to you, it's not the hardest, it's the shafts are too narrow. So you'll need to, um, make your shafts just a bit wider. Okay, so when the shafts are narrower, turned inward, this curve lowers a little bit. And then when you turn them outward and widen them, see how they come up in the shaft loop? That wasn't me pulling them up, that's just they're going up because they're getting taller. So you make them narrow and they get shorter. See that? When you make them wide, they get taller and they sit up inside those shaft loops like that. The nice thing about having them adjust that way is twofold. One you can drive a wider pony or if your pony's a little wider at certain times of the year than at other times you can adjust this to accommodate that them which i think is so important i love a vehicle that it takes into consideration the comfort of the animal so that's really important the other reason why it's so nice that they widen and narrow is for that reason so that you can get your you can have your shaft loops up a little bit higher um i cringe a little when the shaft loops are on the lowest hole and everything drops down. Let's show that quick here. So if your shaft loops are on your bottom hole and you have to have it low like this, your, your bike, that's too low. Uh, I don't like to see this back of this dropping low by the back of their leg. Um, if they kick out or something, they can get a leg over more easily. Um, you can even see here when I raise them or make them wider, it raised up quite a bit. Now the shaft is holding the loop up, if you can see that. 
Um, I will like to reiterate right about now how important it is to have a pony that can just chill out, stand still, relax, especially during this phase when you're adjusting everything and getting things perfect. Um, you have to get in and out a lot. You'll go forward a little bit. You'll trot a little. Oh, you got to change something. You might have to adjust the shaft or something so you have to get out. So it's just so nice if the pony can just stand and take a break while you're doing that. So, so what we're going to look at right now is making the shaft set for Zorro for his width that will work well with the shaft loops. And so the tricky thing is getting your shafts exactly the same on both sides. That's kind of a tricky thing. And so we are, we're eyeballing it. And then I have a pencil and I will mark the underside of the shaft after I get it set. I'll make a mark on the shaft and a mark on the, on the shaft tube. And then if I ever have to remove the shafts, like if I want to take it somewhere and I don't have enough room to have the shafts on it, those marks, I'll just line those up and my shafts will be set for Zorro. Keep in mind that these things change, they change. The ponies get wider and narrower and you're gonna maybe have to make some adjustments on that. But um, just have a handy pencil or a silver paint marker and you can make a new line when you have to adjust the shafts. We'll start on this side and what I don't want, I don't want them so narrow that the shafts are causing the shaft loops to sit and touch the saddle. Because then as I stated earlier, what can happen is the shaft loop can scooch backward and get stuck behind the saddle. And then it's just constantly pushing on the saddle and that irritates me. Um, maybe you can see the, back, the shaft loop, how it bends up, it gets tucked underneath back here. And then it's just stuck. Come over. Come over. See how it's stuck behind the saddle? So um, that's annoying. And that's because the shafts are too narrow. So we'll adjust them out. Come over. So I'm going to make sure they're wide enough that that's not going to happen. If you have them too wide, now the shafts are constantly putting pressure on the shaft loops. See how there's all this space? So what's happening is there's a lot of downward pressure on his back right here. So if both sides were too wide, you would constantly always have pressure and weight on his back. And no matter what you did, no matter how you got these to float, even if they can come up, you see that? they're still pulling on that shaft loop. So that's too wide. So don't do that. You want it, there's a happy medium. There's a nice place where the shaft loop hangs pretty straight, um, but it's not gonna swing back and get stuck behind the saddle because it's not pinched at all. And this, it, this spot right here seems pretty nice to me. So I'm gonna finger tighten my, my set bolts. And I have my tool and I will just tighten that down for now because I want to sit in the cart and see how that works. You want to make sure your shafts are tight when you sit in the cart. So now I'm going to eye this side and try to get it to match the turn, like how this angle is on the shaft end. I'm going to try to match it to the angle on the other side. if you have a helper uh, to kind of eye it with you while you hold it. Pretty good. So I'll finger tighten this side. Then I'll use my tool. All right. So those are nice and even I think, we'll see. I'm gonna get in it and we'll see what happens when there's weight in the bike. All right, when I got in, <laughs> good boy. <laughs> that usually means we're gonna walk off, sorry about that. When I got in, you could see the shafts lift, see that? So that's what I'm gonna kinda watch now and see if I need to move my seat forward. Um, I'm going to walk him around a little bit and see what they do. Walk up. <laughs> walk up. Okay, so right now, 
now the way it's set up, it's tipping back a little bit. You can really probably see that in the back of the seat. And as you can see, the shaft loop, the bend is pulling the shaft loop up. So we're gonna have to do some tweaking to see if we can fix that. Uh, I don't wanna make them narrower because then you're gonna get the shaft getting hooked on the saddle and they don't need to be narrower. They're, they're just right width wise. I think what I'm gonna have to do is push them out a little bit of the tube. Okay. Now when I pull my seat forward, my stirrups, I will have to move my stirrups forward a little bit, but I'm a little bit closer to him uh, maybe than I wanna be. It did lower my shaft loops though. Um, but I don't think, I'm not sure if I'm sitting level yet. The back, of, the back of the seat did come forward more and support my lower back, but I think the bottom is still a little bit tilted. So now I'm gonna just pull the shafts out a little bit and see if pushing them forward will fix that. Here I'm marking the shafts so I know how to align them after I pull them out a little bit. And I'm making a line so we know where to measure to. So then we'll pull the shaft out and we're measuring from that line to the front of the tube so that they are the same on both sides. Okay. Okay. We pushed the shafts out one inch and then I also lowered my shaft loops. I'm not sure if that's gonna help much at this point till I start moving. I think it's going to I think there's going to be some movement down there that I don't want. So we'll walk around and see how it goes. Goro! Goro! Wake up! You awake? Walk up. Okay, I think I'm going to have to narrow the shaft sense a little bit because there's quite a bit of movement side to side and I don't want that to occur. Um, and then I will, of course my over girth is really loose because I lowered the shaft loop so I'll tighten that up. But I'm going to just make them a touch narrower and see what happens. small ponies the littler guys even a half inch a quarter inch an inch makes a big difference when we're making adjustments like this so even though I only turn that in maybe a, a eighth of a turn or something I mean just a tiny bit that might make all the difference so I'll do the other side does that match No, you moved it too far in.
All right, we'll walk around now. All right, so we'll walk up. Walk up. trotting so we'll go out in the grass area and just trot a little bit not a lot Zoro's very tired as you can tell he needs his nap um, but we'll go trot around and make sure that we're not getting any of that bouncing jouncing now that the seat's level and things are adjusted on the harness all right I'm going to show there is bound when I just moved my seat back a click. So I had still had it move forward um, from when I, before I lowered the shaft loop. So I hadn't dro dropped it back yet. But that's why you have to trot and canter to check your balance because everything changes when the horse goes up in speed. And you do not want to find out that something's not right or balanced when you're out on the trail with a group of people and everybody takes off and something is drastically wrong with your vehicle and you can't stop because nobody's stopping. <laughs> so um, make sure that you do all this troubleshooting at home and you have things as dialed in as you can get them. And then be aware that if you don't drive for a month or something from the time you did all the adjustments to when you go to a drive, you might have to tweak it a little. So do that before your drive starts. Do that before the group goes out. Have somebody come and give you a hand and make sure your seat's level and make sure your, your uh, shafts are even before the group leaves. So these are some troubleshooting things that you can do to dial in uh, how everything is functioning and working together so that your pony is as comfortable and as happy as he can be when you're out trail driving. So my husband was just watching while we're filming and he said he could definitely see when the shafts were bouncing but he wasn't sure what happened when they stopped bouncing. So that made me under realize all of a sudden that um, there's a lot of people that might not know the difference between when the shafts are bouncing and when things are leveled out and balanced and there's no more bounce left. So what we're looking for is when they were bouncing, my feet were doing a lot of up and down and my knees were, and it was bouncing me when they were bouncing. So then when I slid my seat back and brought a little weight off of my shafts, the pony always bounces. He always goes up and down. So your shaft loops always go up and down. But what you're looking for when you have things in balance is that your shafts slide forward and back. They don't go up and down. So when you achieve that, what happens is your knees and your feet will get quiet and everything will just be level and you'll just be going along level. So we'll show that now. show the bouncy again. I 
probably what what you can't hear in the in the video as well is that when they're bouncing you can it's audible you can hear it the shaft loops are bouncing up and down everything's banging around and you can hear that so I just moved my seat back so we'll go do it again so shut. So hopefully that explains it a little bit better through showing. I always find showing's best. Um, but again, if you have any questions or you have any troubleshooting you need help with with your bike, please don't hesitate to reach out and I will do all I can.